We're ready to start now on our fingerless mitts. I'm using a circular needle, although you could use double pointed needles. We start by making a knot loose over the needle and we're going to cast on 24 stitches. We're going to use this yarn and the tail to do that. So we have one, two, three, pull that down, four, then we're going to drop the tail, knit on twenty more. So that's five, six, seven, eight, and just continue on until you have 24 stitches. And 23, 24. Now we're ready to join it. Remember, this is going to be the hardest row of anything that you do. You're going to slide the stitches around to the other end. You're going to fold the needle in half because that's the only way you can get them to meet. You're going to take a stitch marker and I always use just a little thread of another color, make a knot, slip it over. Make sure that all the stitches are facing each other and you're going to start knitting by pulling the last thread that you used to the beginning of the row. Like I said, this is going to be the hardest row. And you're going to pull this tight and here you have double stitches. I cast on 24 stitches. I really want 28, so I'm going to use these extra stitches to make up the stitches that I didn't cast on. So that's two, three, four, five. I'm going in the double stitches. Six, seven. Now the double stitches are done, so I'm just going to keep knitting. Eight, nine, ten and keep knitting until you get all these stitches off and you're ready to move the needle again. So we're the last three stitches here. Now we've got to get those other stitches around. So we're pushing again and we have to get these stitches in the front of the needle. And like I said, this is the hardest row because they're tight and they don't want to move and the needle's big. This is easier if you like to knit on double pointed needles, which I don't. So to me it's worth the trouble and it will get easier. All right, we're ready to go again. So we're going to keep knitting in the round. Be sure you pull that thread tight every time you move the needle and now we're coming to our little stitch marker at which point we're going to start ribbing. So there's the last stitch before the stitch marker. Nope, one more. It was buried. We just slip the stitch marker off and we start with knit two, purl two. So we're going to knit the first two stitches purl the next two stitches and then once again move the yarn around. We're ready to knit the next two stitches. Now the stitches are not as hard to twist after that first row. So make sure the thread is where it should be. If you're going to knit, the thread should be in the back and we continue on with knit 
to purl to knit to purl to just continue on with your ribbing now we've come to the end and there's only one stitch we're going to purl it so we have to remember that the next stitch also needs to be purl so we're going to twist them around again folding the needle purling the next stitch and continuing on with knit two purl two knit two purl two knit two and knit two but I see that I have one extra stitch so I'm going to just make another stitch here I'm going to slide that onto my needle put the yarn in front and purl two slip the marker off twist the stitches around and we're ready to start again with knit two make sure the yarn is in back and just continue on now it's just going to be easy and you're going to knit for two purl for two and you're going to do this for about two and a half inches so just continue on this way for two and a half inches or however long you want the ribbing to be